All right, this is uh, Jay Park featuring an Ugly Ducks party music video. So I'm going to take a big fucking guess that a party will occur in this video. It's going to be like a circus of like hoochies or something. Oh. As soon as I say hoochies, we see background dancers and booty shorts. Not that they're hoochies, but it's just funny that it was right in sync with each other. Just saying. The Korean Chris Brown in this town. They're kind of showing they're kind of showing us their whole hand on their edit. I know not everybody knows what I talk about when I mention that things should unfold. They've shown us five different scenes in the first like 15 seconds of this video and they're just repeating the circus thing, the fire thing, uh, the under the bridge thing, the tunnel thing and the lift thing. Re repeat, repeat. We in the club. Product placement. What's that cologne now? Who wants to send me some? <laughs> if you want to send me some cologne, put it in the comment section below. <laughs> All right, also, who's the dance crew with them now? Because I know that, like, I know you guys know. I know somebody knows who watches this right now. Please school me. This isn't a one-way process here. We got to we gotta communicate here. These guys are sick. I mean, shit, I can't dance, so. That shit looks painful. Ugh. Yay. I mean, I don't, I don't have anything more to add. I think I said everything that I felt so far, and that's still how I feel. Like, it, the video doesn't unfold enough for me. It's nice to see really high-quality Korean hip-hop videos because, like, they're rare. You know what I'm saying? And for some reason, I don't see that many, like... Uh, K hip hop and, and USA hip hop or whatever collaborations. I don't see them enough. I wish I did. It's got to be politics, man. It's got to be behind the scenes stuff. Because it can't be about the viewer. Because, I mean, this is better in quality. I mean, even just among just having dancers there, the flamethrower dude or whatever. You don't see that much of this in a lot of American hip hop videos, so it's just a really cool thing that gets unseen, even though it's on of YouTube and it is available to Americans. But you know how fucked up people are, you know? People are assholes, man. I like the fire choreography they had towards the end of the video, but overall, I think that the video should have unfolded more. I still mean that, like, 
beginning middle end so if you have seven different scenes they should occur one two three four five six seven shit if in the last part of the video before it ends you want to do a quick recap of all the setups that's fine but like if you show one through seven in the first 15 seconds i mean it's like all you need to see is the intro and the ending everything in between is just nothing you know it's just it's all about an editing technique and a directing style that you know i think could have been better but um the song itself it's very cool. I wish it's a song that I heard on the radio here. I don't I don't know what would keep somebody from playing this here. But, um, yeah, that, that's it. I, I don't have anything more to add. Um, it's not Mome, man, which I think might be his best video so far because it was that outrageous. This was cool. You know, I've seen crazy things from this man. I've seen really, really cool, um, almost cinematic videos from this guy so this was okay so i, I will get i'll give it a 7.75 because i've seen better from jay park man. and i have high expectations um he's still talented i like his stuff but it's just not his most awesome shit just saying tell me how you feel in the comment section below also please like and share this clip and follow us on instagram and twitter at bubba contagion